I don't feel well. Vocabulary. The body. Health. 1A look at photos AE. How many parts of the body can you see and name? List any other words you know. Arm. Ear. Eye. Face. Finger. Hand. Head. Knee. Leg. Elbow. Neck. Nose. Shoulder. Mouth. Thumb. B. Work in pairs and take turns. Student A. Say a part of the body. Student B. Point to it in photos AE. Page 159 Photo Bank. Lesson 11.1 Body Parts. 1. Match the names of the body parts with the photos. 1. Arm. R. 2. Back. Q. 3. Ear. E. 4. I. B. 5. Face. G. 6. Finger. N. 7. Foot. L. 8. Hand. I. 9. Head. A. 10. Knee. J. 11. Leg. P. 12. Elbow. M. 13. Neck. F. 14. Nose. C. 15. Shoulder. H. 16. Mouth. D. 17. Thumb. O. 18. Toe. K. 2. What do you have 1, 2, 8 and 10 of? Make a list. 1. Back. Neck. Mouth. 2. Arms, ears, eyes, feet, hands, knees, legs, elbows, shoulders, thumbs. 8. Fingers. 10. Toes. Unit 11. Health. Recording 1. 1. I've got a headache. I have stomach ache. Three. My leg hurts. Four. I've got a cold. Five. I have a temperature. Six. I've got a cough. Seven. I have a sore throat. Eight. I've got a runny nose. One. I've got a headache. I have stomach ache. Three. My leg hurts. Four. I've got a cold. Five. I have a temperature. Six. I've got a cough. Seven. I have a sore throat. Eight. I've got a runny nose. Speak out tip. Many words in English have a very different pronunciation from their spelling. You can underline problem letters and write the sound underneath. E.g. cough. 
headache. In your notebook, do the same for thumb and stomachache. C. Work in pairs and complete the sentences using the words in the box. You can use each word only once. Arm. Back. Tired. Ear. Finger. Better. One I've got. I have back underscore ache. Ear ache. To my arm. Back hurts. My ear. Finger hurts. Three I feel tired. Better. Unit 11. Recording 2. And this week in Health Matters, we're talking about colds and flu. What's the difference? And more importantly, what should you do when you have a cold or flu? With me in the studio is Dr. Elizabeth Harper. Hello. <laughs> Dr. Harper, first can you tell us how is flu different from a cold? Well, one big difference is how they start. Flu starts very suddenly. One minute you're fine, you're okay. The next minute you feel terrible. You've got a headache, often a very bad headache, and sometimes a cough. You have a sore throat and your arms and legs hurt. You feel awful. Okay. And do you usually have a temperature? Yes. You get very hot. Usually, you have a temperature of over 38 degrees centigrade. And you're too ill to do anything. You can't work. You just want to go home and go to bed. So it's serious? Yes. Don't try to work. You should go to bed. Get lots of sleep. Sometimes, you have to stay in bed for a week or more. You shouldn't go back to work too soon. Anything else? Yes. You should drink lots of water. Right. And what about a cold? How is a cold different from flu? Well, a cold starts slowly. Maybe it takes two or three days to start. It's a cold when you've got a bad throat or a cough and a runny nose and you don't feel very well but and here's the big difference if you can get up and go to work then you've probably got a cold not flu so should you go to work with a cold <sighs> it depends you don't want to give your cold to other people at work. So, some people take two or three days off work or work from home. But yes, you can usually work. And after a week, you usually feel better. And after flu? After flu, you often feel very tired for a very long time. Maybe three or four weeks. Should you rest a lot? Well, it depends, but be careful. For example, don't do too much sport or hard exercise until you feel better. Another question about colds and flu. What do you think about antibiotics? Well, you shouldn't take antibiotics with a cold. Listening. 3. A work and pairs and discuss. 1. What do you do when you have a cold? Do you go to work or school? Do you stay at home and rest or do you go to the doctor and take medicine? 2. What's the difference between a cold and flu? B. Look at the health problems in exercises 2A and 2C and write them in the correct place in the table. Flu. A headache, your arms and legs hurt, you feel awful, you have a temperature. A cold, a runny nose. Both, a sore, bad throat, a cough. D. Work in pairs. 
What did the doctor say? Underline the correct alternative. Then listen again and check. One flu starts, suddenly. You, can't, work. Two ackle starts, slowly. You, can, work. Three after a cold you feel better after, two or three days. Four after flu you often feel, tired, after three weeks. E. Work in pairs and discuss. How often do you get a cold or flu? What information in the radio program was new for you? Grammar. Shid. S-H-O-U-L-D-N-T. 4. A. Look at the sentences and underline the correct alternative to complete the rules. 1. You should drink lots of water. 2. You shouldn't take antibiotics. Rules. 1. Use should for something that is necessary, a good idea. 2. Use shouldn't for something that is not necessary, a bad idea. Unit 11. Recording 3. You should go to bed. You shouldn't go back to work too soon. Language Bank Grammar 11.1 .1. Should, shouldn't I should sleep You should sleep He should sleep She should sleep It should sleep We should sleep They should sleep I should drink lots of water You should drink lots of water He should drink lots of water She should drink lots of water it should drink lots of water. We should drink lots of water. They should drink lots of water. I shouldn't take antibiotics. You shouldn't antibiotics. He shouldn't antibiotics. She shouldn't antibiotics. It shouldn't antibiotics. We shouldn't antibiotics. They shouldn't antibiotics. I shouldn't eat late at night. You shouldn't eat late at night. He shouldn't eat late at night. She shouldn't eat late at night. It shouldn't eat late at night. We shouldn't eat late at night. They shouldn't eat late at night. Should I stay inside? Yes, I should. No, I shouldn't. Should you stay inside? Yes, you should. No, you shouldn't. Should he stay inside? Yes, he should. No, he shouldn't. Should she stay inside? Yes, she should. No, she shouldn't. Should it stay inside? Yes, it should. No, it shouldn't. Should we stay inside? Yes, we should. No, we shouldn't. Should they stay inside? Yes, they should. No, they shouldn't. Use should plus infinitive to give advice. You should take an aspirin. Use should to recommend something. You should see that film. Use have to not should, when something is necessary. You have to drive on the right. Note, you should try this soup. 11.1 a complete questions 1 to 6. Then match them with replies. AF. 1. I don't have much time. Should I send Kirsten an email? D. No, you shouldn't. Phone her, it's quicker. 2. Ben doesn't like the color of his mobile. Should he get a new one? C. No, he shouldn't. The old one is fine. 3. Look at my hair it's Amos. Should I get a haircut? A. Yes, you should. It's too long. 4. Some students never say anything in class. 
Should they speak more? B. Yes, they should. It's important to practice. 5. My daughter wants to travel in South America. Should she learn Spanish? E. Yes, she should if she has enough time. 6. There are so many words we don't know. Should we buy an electronic dictionary? F. Yes, you should get an English, English one. B. Complete the sentences with should or shouldn't and a verb from the box. Get. Go. Have. Stay. Try. Wear. Change. 1. My camera is very old. I should get a new one. 2. You should try this drink. It's delicious. 3. Do you think I should change my money here or at the airport? 4. You shouldn't wear black. I think it doesn't look good on you. Sorry. 5. They shouldn't go by taxi. It's too expensive. 6. She looks tired. She should have a holiday. 7. We shouldn't stay out in the sun too long. We'll get sunburned. 5. A look at problems 1 to 4 and advice. A. H. For each problem, write two pieces of advice, one with should and one with shouldn't. 1. I'm tired. You should get more sleep. You shouldn't go to bed so late. 2. I'm hungry. You should eat something. Shouldn't miss breakfast. 3. It's raining and I have to go. You should take an umbrella. Shouldn't go out now. 4. I feel ill. You should go home now. Shouldn't be here in the lesson. B. Work in pairs and take turns. Cover the advice, A. H. above. Student A. Say one of the problems. Student B. Give advice with should, shouldn't. Speaking. 6. A work in pairs and answer the questions. 1. In situations, A. F. Do you usually go to a pharmacy, a doctor, a dentist or a hospital? A. You ate some fish last night. This morning you've got terrible stomachache. B. You broke a glass and cut your thumb badly. C. You woke up this morning with earache. D. Your eyes are really red and tired. E. You've got terrible toothache. F. You stayed out in the sun too long this morning and you got very sunburned. 2. Discuss. Can you remember a time when you had any of these problems? Where were you? What did you do? B. Look at the phrases below. In a pharmacy, which phrases does the customer say and which ones? Does the pharmacist say? Write C or P. Take these tablets three times a day. Pharmacist. I've got a terrible customer. Put this cream on your pharmacist. Put these drops in your pharmacist. Could I have some plasters? Customer. Have you got anything for? Customer. You should. Pharmacist. You shouldn't. Pharmacist. Can you recommend anything? Customer. When did it start? Pharmacist.